A 12 year old boy who was rushed to the hospital after being hit by a car near school. Yeah, and this happened near Bisking Gardens Elementary School earlier this morning. NBC 6 is Olivia Jake with joins us live from the scene in Northwest Miami Dade. Uh, any word on, on how that boy is doing, Olivia? Our police tell us he's getting life saving treatment at Ryder Trauma Center where he was airlifted in critical condition. And to give you an idea of how close to the school we are, I'm looking at it right now. It's on the other side of our camera. And right behind me here is where that crash happened. A scary morning for loved ones. After a 12 year old boy was hit by a car while crossing the street right by Biscayne Gardens Elementary School. On scene, a white SUV with damage to the front right side. Miami Dade police and schools police seen putting up crime scene tape and placing evidence markers in the road. With the elementary school right here, this is a school zone. So from 7.15 to 9.15 a.m. and again in the afternoon, the speed limit is 15 miles per hour. But surveillance video from a neighbor shows Miami-Dade Fire Rescue responding to the scene at 712, just a few minutes before that slower speed limit would have been in effect. NBC6 cameras were rolling as a woman who says she's the boy's grandmother expressed her heartbreak and frustration, saying drivers speed down this stretch of Northwest 151st Street all too often. Neighbors did not want to speak on camera, but echoed that sentiment, though police have not said whether speed was a factor here. Now the scene cleared here just a little over an hour ago and for much of the morning police could be seen speaking with someone who appears to have been the driver, that person visibly emotional. Again, we'll keep checking on the condition of this 12 year old and we'll bring you those updates as soon as we have them. Reporting live, Olivia Jake with NBC6 News.